So yeah. All right, everybody, welcome to the after show where we talk about nonsense and random things. So I'm sorry to cut you off, Brashear, but I wanted just to wrap that up real quick before we proceeded. All good. Hopefully you remember. <laughs> no, I don't actually. <laughs> I seriously have like what? What do you? How do you describe a memory? Uh, it, well, think of short. Non-existent. <laughs> think of short-term memory, and it's less less than that by like fifty percent. <laughs> I like I remember some things, but like I'll like forget what I'm talking about mid sentence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Because like I was looking up the YouTube links, right, and my brain's just like, okay, YouTube links, and I'm fully focused on it. I'm like, whatever was happening before that, I don't even remember. Like, did we do the pod yet? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something terrible. I'm glad I stopped myself. <laughs> I have a filter. This is a good thing. Oh, I'd turn it off. No filter. Yeah, hashtag okay. no so, filter. <laughs> hashtag no filter. Oh, oh, I am God. too old for hashtag. That is a pound sign. That is not a hashtag. I just it's a, <laughs> There's this awful picture, and it's like this girl has her phone or iPhone or, or some phone. No, it's an older phone, like with an actual keyboard on it. And she's like, why did this old phone have a hashtag on it when Twitter wasn't even invented? Oh, my God. It's like, oh, my I've God. seen that. It made me die inside. Yeah. I'm not... Uh, so anyway, back to back to my no filter. So Brash, <laughs> I hope I hope very strongly for your sake that by the time we we age and they have a cure for Alzheimer's, because if you ever get that, you are in such a world of hurt, sir. Oh, because I mean, I already like I just accept it's, that it's already like a puppy, like oh he threw the ball. Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, like that's how I've always been, and like I just like. I write things down a lot and like you know like I deal with it I deal with it I, I accept that I'm gonna have a terrible memory um, for certain things I, I just basically have terrible terrible memory about like two conversations at once you know because um, that was kind of so, like so yeah. 50 first dates is like your future memoirs except you know you're you're, you're on never the opposite that. side of eh, don't be sad it was not that great of a movie <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, okay. like, I have great memory for, like, I actually have great memory for um, what people say, like, and their tone involved, you know, um, but not, like, specific things, like, like say, like, a number or, like, some detail of something. Like, I do not give a shit, and that's why I don't remember. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I can, okay, I can go with that. Like, me and Ruler will be, like, doing something, like, in real life, and it'll be, like, I don't know. Like something, like, I don't know, example, like a cat or something. Hashtag IRL. <laughs> Hashtag IRL. It would be like a, a black cat, and I'll be like, you know, that gray cat. And Dre, Dre, Dre Ruler would be like, what are you talking about? It was black. I'm like, what the, f I, okay, it was black. I don't know. <laughs> but I remember there was a cat. Yeah, that's very accurate. <laughs> I, I just let other people remember that shit. True facts. And I do apologize. I think Brashear and I get off topic a lot. Oh um, no, that's totally fine. Because uh, I think the real I have I have a rationale behind this. It's because we've actually been playing this stupid game for so long, and that there's actually so few of us left that have actually been playing this stupid game for so long. <laughs> right. That we're like, holy crap, these other people have played this stupid game for this long too. We have so many things to talk about. We can be so nerdy and it's fantastic. Oh no, the nerd. But we can is... complain about all the things. Yeah, no, the nerd is definitely welcome. It was just. Uh... I, I I like to keep the only reason I like to keep things in a certain time frame is because stupid when I export the stuff from Twitch if it's over two hours long then it splits it and it makes it really obnoxious so and I don't locally record it even though I should so that's the only reason I just wanted to quickly like switch to the after show because uh, that's that's literally the only reason like I don't care when you guys babble at all it's uh you know it's it's really good because that just shows that hey, hey, you're human, and you can actually have a conversation, and, you know, it's it's really not a bad thing. We are, we're human? Really? Day, I don't know if you... I'm not sure. <laughs> well, well, Mark isn't here, and, and we have confirmed he is a robot, so... <laughs> Day, can I... No, I actually personally like the little bit of, like, off-topic, as long as I remember to, like, go, like, oh, shit, we should, like... We're on a podcast here. <laughs> like, and I, I think I did an okay job of rem remembering that one time. That um, one time. One time it's, it's, not, it's not like it's, it was nothing compared to like 
sports and large though in the after oh show that one episode oh, oh my god <laughs> i i may not have caught that full show i apologize you i d- may have fallen asleep and things <laughs> happened and yeah. it, was, it was literally it was like we hit the after show and it was sports as our guest right and large was in chat in the in team speak listening and so i said oh yeah you can like come and talk in the after show and literally i brought up a, the topic of vanilla because we were playing a server of vanilla sorts and they literally went off for an entire hour about talking about vanilla and it was like i literally said maybe one word i think i think brash said some at, was going to ask me a question and i said yes and then that was it <laughs> it was just like it was really bad so i named the episode uh the after show with uh guest brashear and ruler because i think oh were, nice it's nice yeah. i didn't notice that yeah because brash you said like some things sometimes but not very much and then it was me literally it was interesting like some of the stuff i was like actually listening to and listening it was it was interesting because i never played vanilla vanilla but it was pretty bad <laughs> well it's funny with um like that sort of thing because me and day i think have a little bit more of a similar personality um not personality wrong word totally more of um because we definitely have different personalities but we have the same kind of like mindset i guess you could say mm-hmm. like about the vanilla shit we're kind of like a little bit of um a little bit of rose tinted glasses but not we're not gonna like babble about things um we're gonna be not saying i didn't like what, what large and uh, sports are talking about just oh yeah we have a different stance on it we're like we're kind of like reflecting on it differently i guess yeah yeah. Um, I feel like I me mean, and Dave have an understanding. <laughs> given given the opportunity, I could probably babble about vanilla because there were some good times to be had there. Oh yeah. But holy god, the time sings. Oh. Oh, unless you get a hunter <laughs> or a warlock. Mostly a warlock because a soul, soul shard farming. No. <laughs> you, you don't understand that pain when you just have four bags full of soul shards to hand out to the raid because you have to make individual health stones for every single raid member and then trade them to them. Yeah. I remember receiving the trades. I never got to play a lock, like ever. That's but... because most of us <laughs> quit out of frustration. Yeah, you. Know, I wonder, you know, because that was one of the worst jobs. Other than, I mean, mage was pretty bad, but lock was definitely worse because you had no, to. We had farm... the lowest representation. And by the yeah. time the end game hit, we were so broken that, yeah, that um, that I, I tend to blank out the whole Nax thing because that. Did you uh, did you run Nax? I ran Nax. I ran original oh, Nax. We I downed the first two wings of the original Nax. That's how far we got before I finally packed in the towel and said, "I'm done, guys." That's crazy because wow. there because the amount of people that's actually cleared that instance was I think it was. A, it's like a thousand or something. A thousand people. people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we never cleared it, but um, uh, I did down all of Spider, and I think we actually finished Construct. We never got through. We got part of the way through, um, the uh, the Plague Wing and the Death Knight Wing. That's you're that, probably one of few people. Yeah, totally. Uh, we that uh, that was when I like hardcore rated. That was when I was first in. I think it was what was I, junior year. Sophomore year of college. Yeah, I had no life. They, I think you've told me before how old you are, but I think oh, I have forgot because details, yo. Yeah, because I was, well, that was, that was <laughs> You ask. don't have to tell us. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask if you were cool. I wanted to know how 29. Old you. I am wow. 29. Oh, yeah, okay, wow. that's what I thought. I was right. Yeah, you were right. That, that's funny. I'll just be right back. I'm going to grab a drink, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, yeah, we just talked about I, you all day. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I, I must know what the wow is for. Is that's like a good wow or a bad wow that I'm. I have no idea, because, actually. Because. You're only three years when, old to me. <laughs> when I think about it, I'm like, oh, this is a bad wow because I'm turning 30 this year and there's going to be a lot of vodka involved. 30 but, is a bit scary. <laughs> no, when you're staring at it and you're all of like four months away, nope, not good times. Yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can guess. I remember like turning like but, uh, 25 yeah i remember that those were those were fairly good times but uh anyway i digress because i don't want to talk about my age yeah um, that's fine <laughs> so original nax no original nax was uh, nothing has compared to that tuning wise like that was so hard well like, they were i remember i literally remember zoning out of that instance going over to where do you remember getting the zg buffs 
Yes. Okay, we would go over, get that buff, go all the way back on a PvP server, mind you, so oh we're my. taking care to go as 40 people so nobody dies. Yeah. And and zone back in to try and kill Patchwork. Because right. the TPS checks were so tight. And we never even got to Lothab. Well, I was actually reading about some of the tuning, like specific numbers and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> basically, most of the fights in there were impossible. Even with the ZG buff, with all the buffs you could get. Um, were impossibly tuned uh, before they were killed. They were actually nerfed. Yeah. Like, everything was readjusted. Yeah. I mean, it was... Uh, oh, God, I remember killing... I remember I remember getting sat on patchwork because locks were so broken. Wow. Because our, our life tap had no scaling. Right. So, I mean, uh, we would go through mana, and then we'd have to life tap for eight global cooldowns, and by that time, <laughs> no DPS. Yeah. So yeah, they, they sat all but one lock on that fight. Well, that's one of the times, like, I remember at that time, I wasn't raiding um, anything hardcore. I don't even think I was raiding at all, but I was playing a hunter. And I, I was reading about this stuff, and I remember warriors were insane because they scaled really well with, oh, with both gear. of our MTs were warriors um, with Thunder Furies. Yeah, warriors were just amazing. And that's, I had the I had Brash already, and I used to, I used to just raid ZG, like an alt raid kind of thing. Um, that, that was my thing. And going into Burning Crusade, I was basically just wanted to swap to the warrior based on like nax performance and also watching videos of like guys with thunder fury just wrecking like AOE. oh my god our mts with thunder fury were insane because we used to run pvp too oh and um it, when you pvp'd with with even partial nax gear because it was like aq40 yeah pretty much fully decked out and don't even get me started on that place um and then Nax gear, like, we would have a team of two to three DPS in, say, Warsong Gulch. And we were Alliance at the time, don't hate me. And um, we would just post, it was usually me and one or two others, at their graveyard. And just killed them as they spawned their entire team. Because we yeah. could do that. Oh, yeah. And then, just, he would just run the flag back and forth. And even if they got loose, they could not kill him. Their entire team could not kill him. Because he just had so much health, and 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 he just absorbed so much damage, and it was kind of amazing. I, mean, I imagine it really sucked to be on the other side of that, but boy, it was really fun to be on the good side of it. Well, you know, it's weird. I've never had as much fun with PvP since they added resilience. <clears throat> Basically, from from Burning Crusade on, I thought PvP was less fun. In vanilla, you know, yeah, there was overpowered people, but. They had overpowered... The gear was PvE, like... The gear was PvE, and then you PvP'd in it. Or you had high warlord gear. Yeah, but that was rare. And if you had yeah. Nax or AQ40 gear, you wrecked them. Because you yeah, had resists true. at that point. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's resists like... resists were still a thing. But for some reason, I found it more enjoyable. I don't know if that's just because I was more of a noob back then, or, or what. I just, like... I found it... I found fair. it enjoyable because I was wrecking face, but that's just kind of me. Yeah. But, well, um, even when I was under yeah. my hunter, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I don't. I can't explain why. It's probably because it was new. Like I remember um, in AV, like where we would literally have day long AV matches or two or three day long AV matches. Like you would log off, go to sleep, wake up, log back in. That same AV is still going on, and you just hop so back awesome. in. So awesome. The thing is, this is my opinion on that, is if you think that's bad, like, what what are you playing the game for? Like, that's the like that's epic. That doesn't happen in games nowadays, you know? Like, you don't hear about battles lasting for a whole day, like, two days. Yeah. Um, like, th there was nothing wrong with it. People were having a blast. And if they weren't, they just didn't do it. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. That was amazing. That's all I can say. Like, who cares if it didn't give honor? Honor doesn't matter. That's a game mechanic. We're talking about pure fun here. I mean, and I can I can remember like getting the guild together and like queuing as twenty or thirty people because we could do that, you right? Know, back in back in the day, you know, in my olden times. But um, and and we would get like the mage bomb group together, and the mage bomb group was five or six mages that would all ride in, because you know I, I assume you remember that they spawned in groups in the graveyards, so. And when they spawned as a group of like 30 people, they would come and just steamroll things. So what we would do is we would get our group of mages and a couple locks together and then all our pallies behind them and bop them all. And they would all ride in and just AoE the crap out of all of them as they spawn. 
Oh yeah, I think I was a part of like the, and then, the other and then side we of move that. On <laughs> to the next graveyard, and that's how that's how you broke those sieges that were days long. Is you actually had to coordinate to do it. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the know. thing is like the coordination and the community kind of aspects um, back in the day were just stronger. They had to be because the game promoted it, and yeah, that's the only part that I now. miss. Yeah. Well, you don't even need to talk to anyone now to play. You literally yeah. could mute everyone and be fine. I mean, you'd be stuck in LFR, but that apparently uh, Blizzard wants that. I hate LFR with a passion, but anyways, anyways. I, I mean, uh, there are aspects of vanilla I miss. I, I do not miss farming for five hours to raid for one hour. Because you had to put on six pots in order to be effective. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, some of that stuff was broken, but... Because, you know, flasks weren't a thing, and you could actually stack every single pot in the game, and... Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. Or uh, the AQ40. The reason I hate AQ40 is because of the corpse runs. When you wipe at Cthune for the like the 50th time, because that fight was a biatch, and you have to corpse run back, and the corpse run takes 15 minutes to even get the... Oh. Yes, and the trash response, doesn't it? I think after a while it did, but after you killed Twin Imps, it, uh, it wasn't too bad. Oh, good. Sorry, I'm a terrible host. I went to make a fried egg sandwich. Nice. Where's my fried egg sandwich? I'm very disappointed. About to be in my belly. I am now more disappointed. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, I hate you a little bit now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be eating on the show. Come on now. I turned off my camera. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I believe I can hear the evidence. I can, I can fair. see it in my mind's eye, yo. <laughs> in my mind's eye. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I regret That's it. That's extremely accurate. Uh, no, you should not regret that. That was that was very good description. If you were writing a novel, that's what you should have done. I would have an interesting novel. I'd be using random words everywhere. I'd make up my own words. Mm-hmm. It is boiling in my room. That's what Shakespeare did, and it worked out okay for him. So, yeah, you know what? That's okay. You should just Ooh. make up your own words. The true facts. They true are. facts, yo. I have a random question for you. Cool. What's your, um, what's your favorite expansion and why? Is, is this for, for day? Me or Brash? I assume day. Day. I said day. Oh, well, I couldn't hear around the fried egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not better or anything. Anyways, um, well, I didn't play Kata, um, but hardly at all, so that one's kind of out. Um, probably Wrath. I think it was Wrath. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Um, why? I, I a lot of it has to do with with the community because the middle of Wrath, uh, specifically uh, the Colosseum, was garbage. But um, that was when um, because I had quit at the end of BC. And came back very, very briefly for um, uh, for the beginning of Wrath and did like the first little bit and said, oh, okay, I have school obligations, I can't do this anymore. And then quit basically for all of Ulduar. So I actually missed Ulduar, which arguably was the best part of Wrath, and I still think Wrath is the best. Wow. See, I missed all of Wrath, but yeah, that's crazy. So uh, I never did any of that when I was current, but um, I did do the Colosseum and um, the last part. And um, I think the reason was mostly the community aspect, because the people I had played vanilla with, and uh, to a lesser extent, like the first part of BC, um, had all started playing again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we reformed the guild and transferred to a new server and got started and could gear up because they had five bands that let us you know, catch up to the raiders. And then um, we got started with the Coliseum and ICC. Um, and it, it was enough that I had an alt, I had a druid tank. I was okay at them. Not fantastic at tank, but eh, I, I'm okay. And um, no, it was good because of the people. I think that's probably why I liked Wrath the most. Right. Um, I don't know that there were any really mechanics or anything involved. Um, I didn't mind Kata. Uh, I again quit at the middle of that. I have a nasty habit of quitting in the middle of expansions. I really. Sounds I like somebody it. I know. Yeah, that's what I do. Because I just I get bored of, of the game, and I feel like the best way to tell Blizzard that is by to quit. 
like I find it not fun, so I quit. Like, why would you not do that? Yeah, I mean, I can see that. Um, I played all of vanilla um, up until the very, very end. I played like the first maybe quarter of BC. I played the first quarter and like the last half of Wrath. I played only a little bit of Kata. I played all of Mists and well, so far all of um, whatever this is, expansion is called. Um, Garrison all day, every day. Garrison Craft, yeah. How do you, okay, wait, why did you play all of Mists and how did you make it through Siege? Um, I think I, well, I guess I quit at the end of Siege, but I mean, I was fully geared. At that point, we were not getting any more gear. Right. Um, I did level a DK for a while. Yeah, I leveled, like, all my alts. I, I had 14 alts at the end of M Mists at 90. Um, I PvP'd on my Druid for a while. Um, she healed. I, I don't mind being a healer in PvP. That's actually fun to me. But um, I'm very bad at it in PvE for some reason. Oh, I was going to actually comment on the PvE healing part is... I feel like with a good group, healing is actually quite, quite decent, like quite okay, like not too, too hard. I'd say, not. I mean, it's still stressful because it's on you know your hands to make sure people don't die, but it can be more or less stressful based on the group, and it, that goes for tanking too. Um. Yeah. Well, that's mostly people who don't stand in the fire, or fire bad. Um. But yeah, I mean it's. <laughs> I guess that's how I got through mists. I didn't mind mists. Um, I think part of the mist thing was um, I had gotten into a new guild, and you can blame Sev for this. For she's the one that actually brought me into Monkey, because right. I started at like the very, very end of Kata, um, and just leveled a new tune on on Dragonblight, um, just to play at mists. So uh, part of the reason I stayed is because I had actually a cohesive guild, uh, because my old guild. I mean, they still actually raid. And I mean, I have people in that old guild that I've known since uh, middle school. I mean, wow. the majority of my lifespan. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, I mean, yeah, I love these people to death, but but they're flaky. And between oh, yeah. me being flaky and them being flaky, it just, it just doesn't work. Playing with real people, like people you know, is a is a problem I've heard from a lot of people. Like it's, I hear the the one problem I always hear is, um, you know. You talk to a guy who plays with their buddy, and they transferred to the buddy's server. And then the the buddy, the initial guy, like he quits. So then this guy's transferred to this other server, and he's by himself. And it just seems to be a really common thing that always happens. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, that's, that's what happens. <laughs> that's basically what happens to us. I mean, uh, we one of us will come back. Oh, all you guys need to join, and we did, and we did this in, like I said, we did it in Wrath for a, a long period of time, and that was good. Um. And then they started in Kata, and then it fell apart in Kata. And we stopped raiding maybe a week or two in. Um, after that, we went to Tor. And I, I still like Tor because it's Star Wars, and by far, that is like, ha ha. That. I freaking <laughs> love Star Wars, where, you know, my nerd is showing. Um, but it, I guess it's all in who you play with. Well, I want to hear about Tor, because I never played it. Like, it always appeased me. Like, you sum it up to me. Like, what's the differences between that and WoW? And what makes it good or bad? Um, uh, well, uh, again, we're going to suffer here for because everybody quit. Uh, because everybody quit. Um, <laughs> sure. But what are mechanics that or something Did you ever that... play? Um, how many Bioware RPGs have you played? Oh, man. Um... A little tiny bit, like two hours of the first Mass Effect. Is that Bioware? Yeah, that's Bioware. Okay. Bioware did all of Mass Effect, all of Kotor. Um, if you go back when it was like Black Isle, they did um, like Planescape Torment and Baldur's Gate. And I like Baldur's like Gate, but I it's couldn't get into Mass Effect. Like I literally played two hours and I was like, eh, not really digging it. Mass Effect was still one of my favorite series, just because of the okay. characters. But I, I like single-player RPGs because it's like playing a novel, and I guess it's probably because I, well, I like to read. But anyway. I feel like it's too much of a novel and not enough of a game for me. Like, I'm more into oh. games like Diablo, and, um, you know, I guess more strategy and stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like strategy. I have no problem with that, but I like to read a lot, so, I mean, Mass Effect, yes, give me more of that. Cool. Which is why, but anyway, I digress. So, so it's more of a story-driven... Tor Tor is, is like MMO Mass Effect kind of like everything is fully voiced, everything is fully dialogued. Um, you make 
like uh, light or dark side choices, and those then affect like the rest of the mission. So like if you're in a, the equivalent of their instance, if you take the dark side path, you're going to be like, whoa, I'm going to slaughter all the crew, and then you go and slaughter all the crew, and then the rest of the mission is different from whereas if you went light side, when you're like, oh, I'm going to work to save the ship, and you know, you're goody two shoes. And um, I mean, and that was cool for a while. Um, I think the main problem with Tor is when we hit end game, there just wasn't an end game. Right. Like we PvP'd for a while, and they still have some of the most fun PvP I think I've played. Um, Hut Ball was literally one of the funnest things I've ever played. It's like capture the flag you can throw. I think is the best way to, to describe it with environmental hazards. But anyways, um, I like Tor because of all that and because it's Star Wars, which is probably my favorite like universe to read about or play in or whatever. Right. I'm really into sci-fi. Like, my, I don't like fantasy hardly at all. I really like sci-fi, but I, I don't know. Like with Mass Effect, I think it was just the shooting, you know, the FPS aspect. Um, just I wasn't digging. It wasn't tactical enough. Um, yeah, it's two and three were a lot more third-person shooter than one was. Okay. Um, one, one. If you rolled an adept, you basically nuked the world. I we in, but um. Two and three, yeah, you had to like take cover and be a little more tactical about it. I don't know. You'd probably be lost with the story, though. And right. I think the story is by far worth it. Yeah, I'm not really a story guy. <laughs> really can attest to that. I'm like with games, I don't, I do not play them for the story at all. I almost can't. I'm almost at the point where I can't even do it. And see, the, my favorite games are the ones where I did play them for the story. Like, my favorite game is probably God, when did I come out? Two thousand. 1999. Anyway, it's an old, old RPG, and it's like all fully written, and it's my favorite game because of the story. What's uh, it called? A, uh, Planescape Torment. Okay. Heard of it's it. It's D and D based. Yeah. And uh, I mean, without going into too much detail, it's basically you are immortal, but you can die. So like, if you too much take too much damage, uh, you fall over, but then you respawn at like a little ways off your party can die and then you actually have to res them you cannot permanently die and the, the whole premise of this story is when you die if you i guess you die hard enough um <laughs> ow okay there's lots of squeaking going on what blame ruler for that one what there's squeaking uh it sounds like you're playing the drums with a cat with your mic <laughs> What? That's strange. That's that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> it's like really, really squeaky. It's fine now. Are you sure? You sound hollow. Yeah. What did you do to your mic? Okay. One sec. Just keep talking. Ignore me. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> I, I guess I kind of lost my place, but I guess uh, the whole premise of the story is if, if I don't know, if you if you. I don't know what good way to like describe it, but if you die hard enough, you lose your memory. Oh, so okay. the whole the whole story is regaining your memory and how long you've actually been alive and what you've actually done. Oh, I like that. And it goes back far enough that you've been alive for basically centuries and centuries and participated in some very good and very evil things because each time you lose your memory, you have a different personality. Ooh, that's see, I love stuff and like that. Part of the game is basically like you recover memories, you know, based on what you've done. And a lot of your companions that you pick up are actually people you've met in the past, and blah, 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 blah. It goes on. Right. And it's D&D. &D. What do you and call I, that type of, like, sci-fi? If that's, that's sci-fi. That's fantasy. That's fantasy? fantasy RPG right there. Okay. That's, I think it's second edition D&D &D is what that's based on. Oh, okay. But, like, if that happens in a movie, I think that's, like, there's a sci-fi term for that. Like, say if it's a spacey movie. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, like hard sci-fi or something. I have no idea, but no, that that game was purely um, purely pretty much fantasy, which is fine. But it was written very very well, and it remains one of my favorite games to date, even though the graphics are horribly dated at this point. Um, but the writing is just fantastic. Right. And they're actually making a spiritual successor to it with all the original like um devs and writers. I think it got kickstarted. And I'm super excited for that one. But anyways, I kind of digress. 
Sorry. Um. Yeah, no, did, it sounds, sounds did, good. Did we lose Ruler? I think we lost Ruler. No. I think he's tech issues. Do I sound okay now? You do. You sound fine now. Yeah, sorry. I plugged in my secondary webcam because I wanted... Because basically I'm looking when... When I'm looking at my other monitor, and I want people to see my face looking at them, not me looking at my monitor. And I right. guess when I plugged it in, it picked up that web, that mic that's built uh, in. Uh, yeah, it did. That sounded atrocious. <laughs> it sounded not good. Yeah, I apologize for that. All good? I remember, like, uh, what's... I, I, did you ever play the, um, did you ever play Fallout 1 or 2? I played three, but I have I have seen Fallout one and two, and I understand what it's based off of. Right, yeah, three. I mean, is like it's great. I love three, but obviously a completely different genre almost yeah, 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 than yeah. one and two. But man, that like post-apocalyptic, like stylizing and like you're scavenging. Oh, I just I crave that. I want like a Diablo kind of type game that has multiplayer, um, but like in a in a Fallout type world. That would be my ultimate game. <laughs> Have you seen? I mean, it's it's not exactly there. Um, it's it's what's it called? It's Tom Clancy's um, The Division. That's apocalyptic, and it's in New York, and it's coming out later this year. Ooh, I'll have to look into it. It's MMO shooter ish. Ooh. See, I, and I really like. I mean, it's weird because I, I said a minute ago that I'm not really a big fan of shooters, uh, FPS games, but I also I love FPS games like Fallout because they're tactical. It's, it's RPG shooter. Is yeah, what it is. it's a third-person RPG shooter. I love that because when you have an FPS game, you have the controls are so important. Like, you know, good mouse controls and whatnot, and you're <clears throat> spinning about. I love that. Um, I'm just not a big fan of like the Call of Duty kind of straight-up yeah. multiplayer um, stuff. Look up. It's called uh, the Division, and uh, okay. it's really been hyped up. But uh, there's a lot of gameplay videos. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, the graphics are fantastic. But aside from that, the the gameplay looks interesting. I think I'm going to pick it up when it eventually comes out because it's only been delayed like 13 times. Wait. But all as well. That just means it'll be better, right? That's <laughs> what I'm hoping because that new <laughs> Batman has also been delayed like four times and I'm really hoping that's good too. Oh man, I'm so over the Batman. The Batman phase. I like oh, The Dark Knight. such good games though. One and two. Oh, games. Right? Oh, oh. It's the good games. Movies. Yeah, no, that, the, uh, the first two Batman games were really good. I have not played them. I've heard good things. Oh, they're they're worth it. One and two are good, and you can't really believe that that uh, Mark Hamill actually voices the Joker. Right. But no, they're they're really really good. It is well worth it for one and two. Through the third one is kind of eh, but still not bad. Oh, we're getting on my end. We're getting close to two hours on the stream. <clears throat> Mine's at hour thirty-four. Okay. Um, I I remember. Um, I forgot to mention during the pod, but. We did pretty good in Orgorger, but I ranked the highest tonight, only at 61%. <laughs> we, like, we're, our damage on that fight is terrible. <laughs> uh, that makes me sad. Day, you, day, you did 59, and I did 61. Uh, pretty bad. Wait, what's our... Because we were probably all in a new gear bracket right now. What does the gear bracket go up to? Uh, 687. That's probably oh it's only eighty six. We're terrible. Yeah, no, we're yeah we're pretty bad. Because <laughs> in my bracket, I'm only thirty seven percent. Blit. I think it's just we're killing them too slow, right? Like that's all it comes down to. Maybe I don't know. I, I'm gonna continue to AOE all the things, and I just noticed the name of this pod by the way because I'm super observant like that. <laughs> I like it. What is it? Oh, no filter? Hashtag no filter. Oh, at first it showed something about AoE, didn't it? Yeah, the first. Yeah. Was that last pod? AoE oh, yeah. harder. Yeah, AoE, AoE harder blocks. That was the nice. na name of the, the actual main pod. Because ah. we, we just like, our AoE is OP. And then I named this one hashtag no filter. Because that was the first thing we were talking about. Right, sweet. Okay, I actually have a rather random tar topic because... I don't know that you, either of you two, remember, Brash, you might, um, the original legendary ATS. Like um, way, like way Like Karazhan? Back. The Karazhan one? The Whatever. one that's, the one that, it was vanilla. Oh, no. I do not. Okay, well, there was one in, um, 
It was in Nax, which is, might be why you don't remember it. Oh, okay. Um, I do remember but, that. But, uh, yeah. It was it was the first legendary, and the whole point of the story Sorry, is not so much Ash, the legendary. Did, did you say Ashbringer? Oh no, it was ATS. Oh, okay. um, it was a staff. Oh, okay. Sorry. Caster. But, yeah, it was the first one. It was a caster one. But anyway, the whole point of this is um, not so much that it's a legendary. It's what the legendary did. Um, it wasn't based on yourself. As it actually gave your whole group a buff. Where depending on your class, like warlocks were extra spell damage. I think druids were extra crit. Mages were extra something else. I don't remember what it all was. But it wasn't just you getting that buff. It was whoever was in your group got that right. buff. Right. I remember this a little bit. A long what would you think about it. like like a legendary like that actually coming back? Because I don't know that they're going to do that with this whole legendary is for everybody. But I think that it would be a very long shot that Blizz would implement something party wide. Um, party wide shit is is long gone. I think, but it would be awesome if they did it. At the same time, it would be. Crappy if it was only one party though, because then, like literally that party is the one that would rank. And yeah, that's the way sure it was like with that. with that staff. But anyway, um, a follow up to that: if they make you know an actual legendary again, uh, which one do you think it's going to be? You can take this one, really. Sorry, I completely gapped. What? If. Uh -oh. Oh, well, if they make a new legendary, you know, oh, right. it's not a ring or a cloak. Um, oh, which classes? Hmm. Well, it's interesting. So there's been, <clears throat> there's been the, well, hasn't there been two staffs? Like there was one, there's one from, um, blah, blah, Firelands. And you're saying there was mm -hmm. one in vanilla. Yeah. There, there was one in vanilla, but that doesn't count because nobody had that except maybe like three people. Okay. And then there's, there's Thunder Fury. There's, there was a mace too. There's daggers from in Kata. Mm -hmm. um, there was a two-handed sword. At, um, what about a bow? There was a bow in Sunwell. In That's Sunwell. Right. Hmm. Mm, bow might be out next day. Or one-handed weapon because it's mm. kind of coming back around. Oh, right? and then the glaives. Those were legendary, right? Well, it won't be rogues because rogues got daggers in in Kata. Oh right. What was the legend? It can't be a two-hander because that was wrath. Well, uh, two-handers probably the one that's up. It's either going to be that or tanks or maybe hunters. Oh, you know what? A shield. Because Thunder Fury is oh. like the last tank one. A shield. That would be a legendary really, shield. That would actually be really cool. It can't because DKs can't use it. And druids. Um, shit. Damn. But that would be so cool. What about, okay, this is a like a design idea. It's a shield for the shield classes, but it's like a uh, maybe it's a, a trinket for the other classes? For a DK or a druid? Or a I wonder if they just make it a trinket for all the classes. Trinket's too boring, though. Mm. Okay. Hmm. What if it's... What if it's a maybe that's why for they've DK. never brought out a tanking legendary, because it's too hard to make one. Maybe. You just make a tanking one, but it's only for feral. Uh, not feral. Uh, bear. Bear, uh, blood, you know, prot, and whatever. Prot, uh, the monk one, brewmaster. And just those. And it changes depending on the class. Yeah, I suppose they could. It would have to be a weapon across all of them. Yeah. You could have a staff for monks, because they can still use that. So, staff, staff, big two-handed weapon, and then one-hander for the warriors, I guess, maybe. Dude, you could just make a staff for the monk, staff for the, the druid, Call it like a sword, but it looks like a staff for the DK. <laughs> and then have like a little staff, for, like a one-hander for the, for the pally so and the like warrior. Stick. They're like, it's like a they're, stick. They're like, <laughs> the stick of stick. truth, yo. <laughs> oh my god. How would you feel about tanking with a giant stick? I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen some of Brash's transmogs? Please. I like the, I like the bizarre. I don't know, because I, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, if they were to implement that again, and I don't know what they're going to, but um, I was wondering which legendary would come around. I kind of because yeah, it was it was rogues who had the daggers last. Um, if you ignore mists, because mists doesn't count. So it was rogues, and then casters had the staff, and then end of wrath was shadowmorn, which was all melee, and then before that was the healer. 
and then before that was Sunwell, which was Hunter, and before that was... It's sad that I know all this. Um, oh, gosh, it was the rogues in Black Temple, the one-handed swords. So I guess it might actually be healers. Healers or hunters that would be up next. Because mm -hmm. they're the farthest back. I mean, healers or hunters. Hunters haven't had one since BC. Healers haven't had one since Wrath. I feel like hunters have kind of been shafted because... Um, I don't know why. Just because. It's because they basically are the only class that uses that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah, something along those lines. Well, you know what would be really cool is to, like, everyone gets a legendary, K, okay? But it's, like, it's not the same item. It's, like, like you were saying, like, different, kind of, like, different weapons and stuff. But I'm thinking, like, uh... You know the you know those because I didn't play in vanilla, so I watched these videos about those the hunter quests that were really mm -hmm. hard, and you had to kill like the three or four demons or whatever. Ooh, you know like why, I remember those. So like there should be I feel like there should be something like that, but for each class. So then it's like it's individualized for every class. So it's like it's a it's like a legendary quest chain kind of, but like shorter, n not not collecting random shit, and like but it's specific to the class i mean it would be a quote unquote a lot of work but it could be it would be really cool i think they're still doing that because they did do that with locks because they gave us green fire after four expansions of asking for it green fire right yeah they, no, I it mean... was a big thing that was a big thing for us that was like freaking christmas in july and that i always that wanted to was try hard that. That I always wanted to try hard when it was when it was released. That was I was cursing my freaking head off over that quest because that was difficult. I, I wanted to try it because I love like I mean, I don't I don't it's weird. I kinda love hate, like the whole like single single person challenge stuff, like Brawler's Guild and stuff, but I also feel like once you complete them, it's it's quite it feels quite unique because um you know, not like not a lot of people on every server do it. Um, like Brawler's Guild, like I know Ruler just finished it, and mm -hmm. it was like it's quite satisfying. Yeah, and I, f I finished it in Mist, and like not many people did that. Um, yeah, I got I it in Mist. I got the ten round um, proving grounds, which again was just it's really friggin' annoying. Like it's not all that fun, but I did it, and like I, I think I was I was one of two warriors that got it, um, on Dragonblade, which is pretty cool. No, and, I mean they're still doing it. They may do it again because I mean the Green Fire quest was. Well, it means I won't be getting one, but the other classes might. You know that hunter thing is probably the highlight of my entire, my entire WoW thing. Like WoW um, career, I guess you could call it, not career, whatever, playtime. Um, like molten core, getting the leaf, going through the quests, getting them all done. Um, that and having full tier one, just having that like the best molten core stuff was just pretty epic. Oh, priests had that too because they had their staff back in. Yeah. No. Yeah, they had. They actually got their item off the same chest that we did. Mm -hmm. That was major domo. Yeah, that's right. Um, and it's just it because it was so personalized, right? Like it was like that was the hunter thing, up until yeah. there was a few better weapons, but they, I think there was two. Like there was one. I don't think there was one from AQ forty, but there was one from Blackwing Lair, that was slightly better, and I think one from Nax. Um, but it was basically like third best, and at the time I got it, it was basically the best, especially for Dragonblade. Um, and it just it it's just it screams hunter and it's awesome. I like they had that. I don't know if they're well. I think you hit the nail on the head with this is a lot of work. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what Blizz would say. They'd be like, uh, you know, we can't allocate this amount of uh, effort to this one thing. We're going to focus on LFR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because that's what everyone loves. We're going to focus on the <clears throat> more Twitter integration because we need the Twitter integration. Oh. Next patch, oh. we get Tumblr okay. integration and Facebook. Oh, I, have, I have the most fantastic. I don't know if you guys. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going to either answer the phone or bring something nerdy bring something <laughs> yes. nerdy yes it, it is the letter nice you just have to give me a second to find it maybe more than a second it, this might take a couple seconds <laughs> several seconds we do, uh we do have about a tw 10 minute window 
before I'm okay, gonna... It won't take 10 minutes. Okay. I just want to make sure... it takes several seconds. I just want to make sure it's done before the two-hour mark, because then it gets annoying. I mean, I do split it anyway, so it's not a big deal, but... But say, I seem to recall you having gone over all the old podcasts. Yeah. It's okay. I see how it is. No big deal. Well, no, I think the last one we were... The last two I did really... I did pretty good on getting uh, it on track. And then uh, my, our first, like, four were quite long. We're learning, okay? <laughs> I don't know if like, either of you oh, read you're... that comic, but yeah, yeah, my push to talk on this computer is bound to control, so yeah, sorry. Nice. I uh You push to talk. I have seen this. <laughs> awesome. I can imagine the raids with like multiple people like this in it. Oh, <laughs> it must be so painful. Oh my god. That's funny. That whole that whole comic is just kind of fantastic. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely is. That's quite that's quite great. So we should end this on a rant about five mans because I know Day loves his five mans, wow. not sar not slash sarcasm. Well, I was actually gonna bring up a point about how Day said like he did the five mans and it caught him up to raid and i was like mind blown i was like oh my god like blizzard please do the thing because i want five mans now do the thing because reasons yo yeah blizzard god <laughs> do things yeah no like five mans I, like i i realized in i think it was wrath or and yeah i think it was wrath where i realized that five mans are what makes me keep playing because it's weird to say that but it makes sense to me um because in wrath five mans became started to become super face roll i remember doing the very first ones like while leveling and then when done leveling doing the heroics which were basically laughable uh five man uh, normals and we just like steamrolled aoe the whole place and it was like okay that was cool and we go jump into raids, and five mans are no longer a thing. And I basically quit after that because I don't know. Like, maybe it's just the way I play. Like, I play with normally like three, four people, most maybe five people, like close pe people I pl I know. And uh, we we do five mans, and that's like the thing we do. And that fueled us through all of most of vanilla, and a lot of Burning Crusade, because like you could just keep doing the five mans for a long time. Um, for for a purpose, like not just because you were bored, but you did it because you wanted like, you know, that one really rare drop or like that mount maybe or that epic thing at the end, you know, stuff like that. Um, and it required like a lot of coordination. It, it also depended on your group. Like if you had, like our group never had a mage, so we had no CC or very little CC. And it, we just had to work around that and it, it made it awesome. Oh, you don't like Warlock CC? Fear. It's like the most double-edged CC ever. Dude, we never had Warlocks either. Oh, it's okay. Nobody ever had Warlocks. See, I'm a warrior, and I've always kind of DPS, so... That means that there's a plate tank, normally, and I'm a plate DPS, and then normally we have a rogue. And now that Dre's playing, or Ruler's playing, we got a DK, so it's like me melee central. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I take all the cloth loot. All of it. Oh yes. Yeah, that's true. Because Kiwi would, if she was playing, would take all the mail. That was it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> we don't we don't play with any other hunter. We don't play with any other shamans really. We don't have any hunters. It's like literally plate, one leather, and mail. <laughs> and and in most Wrath, of the one I played with were were all class. But anyway, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, in Wrath, I quit early, um, never came back until, like, Kata. But um, I missed out when they added the secondary round of dungeons um, at the end. 
the hard, like, uh, whatever they were called, Ice Crown Dungeons, I guess. And those were apparently really awesome, and I did them later. I did them in Kata, and they were really, really good dungeons. And I, I regret missing that, but, like, that sort of thing is, is really needed in the game. Because think about right now. Think about, like, the current live WoW. Imagine someone, like, let's just say Day, but let's say Day, Day doesn't have his Warlock. He has his Rogue. How does he start raiding? Like, it's really hard. You'd have to join normals. You'd have to pug normals. You'd have to do LFR and shit. You'd have to catch up on your legendary, which you never will catch up because we will just keep getting ahead. Um, it, it's just no fun. Uh, if I was stuck in that situation, I would probably just quit. It's, they put, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's why they've been implementing the five mans in the older expansions. And yeah, the, the five mans in, in Wrath were were tuned a bit higher than their intro five mans were, because those were face roll. Yeah, and that's the only one. It did let you catch up. Like, you did, um, you could do Trial of the Crusader five mans, you know, to catch up some, and then you'd do a little bit of Trial of the Crusader, um, like the raid, um, yeah. just, you know, to get a little bit higher. And then you could jump into the five mans in ICC. And then there were three of those, and you could, you know, get up basically, if, if not, like, high-level raid gear, but, like, intro raid gear. And then that would let you kind of, you know, get your toes wet in regular ICC. And then you can go from there. Now, and, and if you think about Kata, Kata had actually, like, you know, universally thought of as the worst expansion. But that might be for, you know, not... The Five Mans might have been some of the best, I think, because they had entrance five mans. They were hard as hell for the first month, or whatever it was. And then they nerfed them, and then they were kind of face roll. Um, and that was all good. But then they released the ZG and ZA uh, five mans, mid mid uh, mid expansion, and they were okay. Um, and then at the end, they released a pretty fantastic uh, Dragon Soul five mans, end time and whatnot, and they were really good. They caught you up to drag uh, to do Dragon Soul. Um, and get jump right into raiding, and there was no really, there was no legendary crap to worry about. Um, so, like, I mean, I think that system worked really well because in Kata, I played, I had Brash, and then I played, uh, I made a DK and I leveled it, caught it up to you know Dragon Soul level, and I, I didn't really raid with it, but I did LFR and stuff. It was fun. And then I had like my Hunter did the same thing, and then my Pally did the same thing, and it, like it promotes playing alts. Um, which is a good thing, I, th I think. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of alts, but I think it's... Hmm. Well, if, if you look back, they did that in every expansion except Vanilla and Mists. So in BC they did it, in Wrath they did it, in Kata they did it. Um, that whole catch-up five-man thing. And I guess they decided to go away from it in, in Mists in favor of universal legendaries for everybody and LFR. And how is that a trade-off? It doesn't make any sense. It's yeah, well, that, that's what it looks like, anyway. Oh, I agree. I totally agree. It's just it's a completely backwards thinking in my in my mind. Five mans, like heroic five mans with a slight challenge versus LFR. Even when LFR was somewhat of a challenge, uh, I don't know when that was, but let's just say it was. Um, they're just not equivalent. Like, not at all. Um, I don't think. What do you think? Well, about the, yeah. Oh, I like I. I think it's like five mans are what we need. Like LFR is not at all equivalent to any of any five mans. Like I go into LFR and I want to puke. And if I go into even well, like if I go into an old five man right now, I'd probably puke too. But like if there's a new five man, I'd be all over that shit so quick. And I think I would enjoy running it. Like this is the thing is like if you have because a five man is like when there's things are fun when they're challenging even if they're ridiculously hard obviously there's to a decree like not to the point i'm saying where like how everyone bitches but to a degree where it's literally almost impossible to progress then it becomes an issue but when it's challenging it's what makes it fun it's what pe it's how people learn it's how people gauge with the game it's how they progress themselves not not just like as players this might sound cheesy but not just as players but as people because they're learning all these different ways of thinking that they may have never done before and i don't know i think five mans and lfr is mindless you it's literally you go in you do 
you, you can AFK and you can get loot. Like, it's absolutely fucking garbage. And, uh, like, the Black Hand LFR we did was such a fucking joke. It was like, like, Imperator LFR was harder than that. And it was just like, I just didn't, it was really sad. It was just pathetic, in my opinion. And I want, I want five mans. I want ten five mans in the next patch, please. <laughs> and we're, we're talking real five mans. Yes. Like, we're talking, like, I want a five man that equivalent, that's equivalent to Magister's Terrace. Or wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, Ma- MGT in, yeah. In, in Burning Crusade at the end. When that was introduced, if you didn't have, like, a pally tank or... Like, the AoE tank really helped, but you needed so much CC, it was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, but, like, the entire server was trying to defeat that dungeon daily. And it was, it, it grew this amazing community, I think. And maybe people don't understand that now, or, like, whatever, they don't really want that. But I, that's what I enjoy from the game. And this is a massively, this is an MMO, and MMOs are driven off of the community. Like Day said, his favorite time was based on community in, in Wrath. And... My favorite time was in Burning Crusade because that's when I had my community. They kind of all quit since then. And, uh, like, community is where it's at. Well, I mean, it, it's it's really not, a, at least in my opinion, it's not all that hard to, I guess, in hindsight, kind of just stare at and be like, oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Because, I mean, if you're running a five man, you're running it with four other people. Um, you're going to talk to those four other people and you're going to communicate, hopefully. <laughs> with those four other people and uh you know it it builds a sense of i don't know uh, camaraderie i guess Mm -hmm. whereas uh if you're in lfr which everybody loves you're with 24 other people how do you talk to 24 other people through typing you don't you just don't it doesn't build anything it's just well i'm here i collect loot even if i wanted to talk to people i really can't and that's it. Yeah. I would actually say that the way that LFR is designed in its difficulty, um, matchmaking, and uh, the way the bosses are tuned, and the way certain classes can do certain things, it actually promotes building walls. It's, it's reverse community. LFR actually promotes you to not talk. Because you say something and you get booted. Uh, it's, it's like toxic. It's the definition. I, I, yeah, I can't stand LFR. Yeah. Um, I actually think in WAD, LFR is in some of its best shape. Not that not doing LFR it, itself. I think it's some of its worst right now, tuning-wise and stuff. But I also think that um, the way that they removed the tier sets and they made the gear level low enough that if you do any normal rating, you barely have to do it. And, like, I did Black Hand because I wanted the extra tokens or whatever for the Legendary Chain, mm-hmm. and that's a whole other issue. But that's the only thing and i've skipped out on that most weeks and i will continue to do that after seeing blackhand once i will never do him again in lfr and i never want to i want to just believe that doesn't exist <laughs> yeah. and even if that was because we had you know six of us that had heroic gear i don't even care oh, yeah. <laughs> it was just a joke yeah yeah i completely agree it's really unfortunate but blizzard and like we've talked about this before i just want to make this little quick comment before we wrap up but uh you know they admitted that they didn't want to do lfr that they regretted doing lfr before flex because they were thinking about both at the same time i think they were thinking about flex actually before but they didn't they wanted to implement something without thinking i guess like through for the long term they wanted to get something out there so they came up they did lfr and yeah they openly admitted that they didn't they wish they did flex first flex instead of lfr at all so um it's really sad and unfortunate that happened but at least blizzard is aware that it is an issue and i think that's why they did do those things to make it better like removing tier and stuff and like that so they realized like this was probably one of their bigger mistakes of um like community breaking and stuff like that you know <clears throat> Cool. Well, I think uh, we'll wrap this up. Um, again, I want to thank you, Dave, for coming on and sh- spending time with us. It was uh, it was really fun. It was uh, nice to get your perspective on the fights and all no that. No problem. Anytime. Cool. Uh, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, so this is the end of the after show. Um, and I hope you all enjoy, and I hope to see you all back again. Uh, we do this every Thursday night. Um after we've done raids, so that's anywhere between 
eight thirty PM uh Pacific time to like nine thirty. Uh so uh please if you like what you have been watching so far, please come and uh follow and and uh there'll be a notification for you in your email when we go live. So thanks again for watching, thanks day again and uh everyone have a good night. Thanks guys. Thank you all.